In modern warfare, the ballistic missiles have been the backbone of military forces due to their lethality, destruction, and deterrent threats. Countries like Russia, China, and Iran are significantly adapting ballistic missiles to pose a serious threat to adversaries' critical assets. In the recent military clash between Iran and Israel, Iran's ballistic missiles have grabbed public attention, how destructive they can be. The missiles were launched targeting Israeli critical military bases and headquarters and successfully blew up the targets. Although Israel denied and suppressed the media outlets not to broadcast the destruction and losses. Nowadays, China appears to be reinforcing its defense industry and development of military equipment to confront its adversaries like the United States in potential conflict. China's ballistic missile development has significantly evolved and inducted the deadliest ballistic missiles into the armed forces. Today, we are going to discover and explore China's most advanced ballistic missile, the DF-21, known as the Carrier Killer. So let's dive deep into the video and make sure to subscribe to get more updates. The Dongfeng DF-21, also known as CSS-5 by NATO reporting name, is a two-stage, solid-fuel, single-warhead, medium-range ballistic missile developed by China. The missile was developed primarily to counter potential threats from U.S. aircraft carriers and to establish an anti-access area denial strategy in the Western Pacific region. This strategy aims to limit the ability of opposing forces, particularly the U.S. Navy, to operate freely in waters close to China, such as the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait. The DF-21D is designed as a carrier killer, meaning it's intended to neutralize U.S. Navy aircraft carriers, which are a key component of U.S. power projection capabilities. The DF-21 is a medium-range, road-mobile ballistic missile. In service since 1991, it was China's first road-mobile missile to use solid propellant. China has developed new DF-21 variants, including a dual nuclear or conventional capable variant, known as DF-21C, and another designed as an anti-ship ballistic missile, known as DF-21D. In 2016, the U.S. Department of Defense revealed a new nuclear variant, the DF-21E. The DF-21 was China's first solid-fuel road mobile missile, which entered service in 1991 to replace the obsolete Dongfeng-2. The DF-21's development started in the late 1960s, and it was completed around 1985 to 86, but not deployed until 1991. It was developed from the JL-1 submarine-launched missile, and is China's first solid-fuel land-based missile. The U.S. Department of Defense in 2008 estimated that China had 60 to 80 missiles and 60 launchers. Approximately 10 to 11 missiles can be built annually. Originally developed as a strategic weapon, the DF-21's later variants were designed for both nuclear and conventional missions. It is thought to be able to carry a high explosive, sub-munition for tactical or theater-level missions, or a 300 kilotons nuclear warhead for strategic strikes. The latest variant, the DF-21D, was said to be the world's first anti-ship ballistic missile. The DF-21 has also been developed into the SC-19, an anti-ballistic missile and anti-satellite missile. As of 2025, its KF-21 air-launched ballistic missile variant represents China's only air capability within its nuclear triad. The Dongfeng 21's solid propellant system significantly increases its service life and mobility while decreasing its maintenance cost and launch time. It represented a shift in the People's Republic of China away from liquid fuel designs. Due to its solid propellant and transporter erector launcher vehicle launch system, it can be easily transported and has a short launch time, allowing it to be deployed during a rapidly changing military situation, adding to its tactical effectiveness. 
the DF-21 can deploy a 600 kilograms payload with a minimum range of 500 kilometers and a maximum range of 2,150 kilometers. It can be armed with a single re-entry vehicle that can be equipped with a 250 or 500 kilotons yield nuclear device. It uses an inertial guidance system that is capable of striking with an accuracy of 700 meters CEP. It has a length of 10.7 meters, a diameter of 1.4 meters, and a launch weight of 14,700 kilograms. The missile uses a two-stage solid propellant motor. The DF-21 is exceptionally precise and has been called carrier killer by military analysts who argue that it was initially designed to hit U.S. aircraft carriers that are believed to be involved in a future conflict with China. As long as the United States does not deploy sufficient capabilities to defend itself against the DF-21D, the strike groups of American aircraft carriers within the range of the missile will be vulnerable. It seems that China's objective is to block the U.S. and allied military forces from freely maneuvering in anti-access, area-denial airspace and in the maritime bubble around the Chinese coast in South and East China Sea. China has conducted multiple tests of the DF-21 ballistic missile, including a notable test in late August 2020. During that event, China launched a DF-21D, along with a DF-26B, into the South China Sea, near the Paracel Islands. This test was significant as it was believed to be the first time the DF-21D successfully targeted a moving at-sea target. Prior to this, the DF-21D was also displayed publicly during a parade in Beijing in 2015. A January 2014 article in Newsweek magazine alleged that Saudi Arabia had purchased several conventional variants of the DF-21 in 2007. But no statement was revealed neither from Saudi Arabia nor China. The DF-21D's long-range standoff capability gives China greater operational agility on the battlefield whilst reducing a surprise attack risk. As a result, it gives China a substantial operational superiority and enhanced deterrence in the region.